Right, we've completely finished with this one. It's six meters long, it's four meters deep. It's clad in Western red cedar. We've dropped on the dummy pillars on the front there. We've got some up and down lighters there. We've got some spotlights in the canopy, which I'll show you in a minute. And we've also dropped an AstroTurf on the roof there as well. Um, it's just a bit better than the big black expanse. If you look at my previous videos, you'll see that. If Jen wants to come down here, I will then show you round. Right, so the customers have a hot tub fitted. It's a little bit more than the Lazy Spa. It required its own supply. So it's got a 40 amp rotary isolator, isolator fitted there, which can isolate the hot tub. Obviously, he's going to have all this made up. He's going to have it flagged. He's going to have some AstroTurf as well. You can see there we've finished in Western Red Cedar. It's been oiled to our usual standard. If Jen comes here... Right, so we've put some metal cladding on the back. We've also dropped a gutter and downpipe on there as well. No maintenance on the back, never be touched again. These conifers will probably grow up into the building there a little bit and that will then all sort of conceal and tidy that up again. Um, he's going to have it all made up and finished round. Um, we've clad horizontally on this, which is a little bit out of the norm, but that's what the customer wanted. Um, I, 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 prefer, I personally like it horizontally. Do you like it vertical or horizontal? You prefer horizontal? Yeah, yeah I, I mean, it's it just because you've got the variation in colours, it looks right the way it should be. I everything <laughs> We've got a two gang um, outside socket there as well. IP ring. We fit these dummy pillars, which would become a little bit of a feature of ours. Um, we've also followed suit with the bar with the dummy pillars as well. Adam's dropped some down lighters into the canopy there as well. We've also got some up and down lighters. Architrive, butt jointed. If you miter it, it's going to come open. That's what happens. Um, doors, if Jen just looks back at the house, she can see they are the same brow colour as the house. Again, express by holes. As far as I'm concerned, they are the best door and window manufacturer in the company. And as always, they're fit professionally by a guy called Chris who fits ours for us. And it's one finger operation. So we we'll just turn that there, push that with one finger, and that's how your bifold doors should glide with one finger, no resistance, and there's no resistance because we put a steel beam in there which stops any sag and stops any pressure on the door. So again, one finger, that's how they should operate. See my finger? That's how... There's two for you. <laughs> that's how bifolds should work. Um, and of course these do. So they are the same colour as the house ones. We've also got a tilt and turn window here which I've showed you operate inside. In fact, We've also got a tilt and turn window here. Um, when we go inside, I will show you that operating as well. And again, this side, dropped off in cedar, horizontally fit, treated and got a UV stabiliser on it. What we're going to do then is when he's going to have all this paved, we're going to come back, we're going to drop some chicken wire under there to stop the rabbits getting under because it's a rural location, is this, and he's already seen some rabbits, so they need stopping. Um, he's going to have that paved there, he's going to have AstroTurf and Come for, fast forward a couple of months when this is all finished. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful house, beautiful location, and an absolutely stunning garden room. Finished to our normal standard. So what we'll do now, we'll go inside, we'll have a look at all the work we've done inside, and I'll show you around that, and that will be it. Finish this one. What I want to do is give you a full, complete walk around of it. There's a lot to see, there's a lot of detail. We've put a lot of work into here. Um, when I say we, I mean the team that's here now, we finished it. Uh, the original, there was a full team of five or six of us right at the beginning, but I'll talk about the beginning as well, and I'll talk about the end, but it has been a labour of love, hasn't it? Yeah. Um, and I'm, I can't help but feel we've pulled this out of the bag, because I absolutely love this one. So, while Jen and Adam finish their drinks, what I will do, I will give you a walk around. Jen will take the camera. On my drink. Adam will then drop in in a minute and explain the electrics, won't you, Adam? Please. Okay, so oh look, at, look at drunk Liam. <laughs> oh what the hell? <laughs> He's had too much to drink. Look at his eyes rolling. <laughs> so, what we did, we had um, the customer wanted a family room, bar room, chill out room. So, it's six meters long. It's four meters deep. In the ceiling, if you've watched my other videos, we put flitch beams on. The reason why we put flitch beams is the ceiling's four meter span. Uh, there's some massive conifers at the back. We've got AstroTurf on the roof as well. And I know for a fact, somebody's gonna be walking along there, cutting the conifers down. Um, so we put flitch beams. Every other beam is a flitch beam, which basically is two five by twos with a piece of steel in the middle, all bolted together. But if you search my videos, you'll see how we made that. So I will start over here. 
Right, so what we did, um, we wanted to create this panelling. I showed the customer a picture that somebody had put on the group um, of some panelling. I don't know who it was, but as I said before, kudos to you because it's brilliant. He loved it and we sort of followed suit and copied, I suppose, uh, but put our own little twist on it. So what we did, we put some 4B2s on the wall, top, middle and bottom, and then we put 9mm MDF on and then we created these strips of 9mm MDF, which gives it a bit of depth. And then John, Jen cut, John, and then Jen cut all the beads to sit in there. So they've been all mighty and finished. Um, we've dropped a skirting board on as well. And what we've also done is put this drink shelf on, which I will explain to you now. So the drink shelf basically is so you can put your pint down there, put your drink on there. You can have your game pull, you can talk to your mate, you can do whatever it is you're doing, but there is somewhere to put your drink. There's a little upstand there as well. So if you spill your drink, it's not gonna go on the wall and start staying in the wall. Under there, we've put some LED strip lights which drop a little um, curtain of light down onto the wall. I'll explain that as well. In fact, I won't explain it, Adam will explain it. Here, we have a tilt and turn window. Basically, turn it halfway like that. It drops back into the room, lets some air in. Or you can turn it fully like that and it opens like a regular door and let as much air in as you want. So that is a tilt and turn window. The windows are finished in a RAL colour, which will not come to mind at the moment. But if Jen looks out there, she can see the colour of the RAL glazing on the house. So these doors and windows follow suit to the house. Um, so like I say, MDF panelling, really easy to do, but really effective as well. We've put on these space plates as well. What are they called, Adam? Uh, black nickel. Black nickel with black inserts. Um, we fit the customer's TV. It's a 54 inch. 58 inch. We've also carried this pool table in frame as well. So this shelf continues all round. If Jen comes over here, she can see the pellets that we put in to secure the shelf down. Chris, if you're still watching this, and I'm sure you will be, um, so we didn't glue it down, we fixed it down. Um, I, Chris, Chris posts loads of videos on our Facebook group. If you watch him, he's, um, he's, quite, he's quite up there posting his videos. Uh, good input so it follows all the way around like that it then goes straight behind the bar I'll just put this drink down um, again Jen's done the panelling all down there we finished it this is a farrow and ball colour the bottom is Maul's breath we got a decorator in um, Darren the decorator and the reason why we got him because we started it and we decided that we didn't have the skill set really to finish painting it so that's farrow and ball that's Maul's breath on the wall is Cornforth white, which is like an off-grey type white, which blends in really well with the windows. The architrave and the skirting board on that side are also Cornforth white, and the skirting board on this side is Moore's Breath. Um, so, we have put a traditional bar flap in, only fulls and horses style. Um, that is solid oak. I showed you what we did with that. We got three worktops. We joined them all together. We used biscuits and wedges, and we created this one full piece bar. So basically, Free Worktops has created this, them shelves, and the back bar. Now, if Jen just comes around here a minute, she will see, if you can see the, the angle of that back bar there, Jen. So what we did, what we wanted to create was the dummy pillars on the outside of the building. So what we created there is some dummy pillars, again, cut out of worktop, a little interval piece in there. That piece there, came off which allowed us to feed our lights through and which Adam has then put some LED strip lights under there. We originally didn't have that one on the top but we have since fit it because it looked out of place. We, um, what we did, Jen googled spirits bottle sizes so that's why the shelves are the right size. Um, we didn't just chance it did we Jen, we actually googled it and, and did it right. We fit a fridge in there, I've showed you the back bar previously. Um, do you want to just come behind here Jen? So the bar itself is constructed from moisture resistant MDF. It's got a brown facing on both sides. It's moisture resistant, but then you're left with the raw edge. So what Jen did then, she ripped down some cedar and created these trims. These shelves are adjustable. So is this one here, in case he wants to put some kind of little barrels in or something like that. Um, it's got a traditional pub style bottle opener there. And he's also got this fridge as well, which we fit as well. Right, so what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna drop you over to Adam. He's gonna explain a little bit about the electrical installation because it's a little bit over my head. Um, but Adam's qualified, that's what he does. So I will drop you over to Adam anyway. Adam, so normally we run a 10 mil steel wide armoured, uh, which is normally sufficient for a garden room. But on this occasion, we ran? We ran a 16 mil steel wide armoured because of the hot tub. They've got a hot tub on the side of here and we thought they needed 
a bit more for future proofing. So, and the hot tub supplier specified that they wanted a 32 amp, which we needed 16 mil steel or damage for that. So, so on this and the hot tub as well. So, in here we've got our normal garden room. We've got panel heater, sockets, lighting. Then we've got our hot tub on a 32 amp breaker and bar lights, which we don't normally have as either, but we've got them for mood lighting, <laughs> as, as Liam likes to call it. I do like my mood lighting. Um, when we started this job, Adam wasn't over happy about the mood lighting, but if you want to go behind the bar, I will explain the mood lighting and the reason for the mood lighting. Right, it's a little overcast today. It's a bit dark, it's rainy, it's crap. Right, so picture if you will. Jen, do you want to stand in that corner? Picture if you will, it's night time it's it's dark outside right turn everything off adam right the bar is shut the telly's on right so mood lighting what i wanted was different lights to come on at different times so adam's then put it on a free gang switch there's a bank of transformers that's the first bit of mood lighting there's just enough so if it's really dark you've still got a bit of light you're not playing pool anymore you're chatting to your partner and you're smoozing right bars open backlight is on bar Yes, so what we've done there, um, just turn that one off for a minute, Adam. Jen, if you just, what we've done, we've created three strip lights there, which will illuminate the back bar, illuminate the bottles. We've also put a smoked mirror on the back of there as well, um, which reflects the light back into the room. Gives more depth in the room as well. Um, again, 40 mil worktop, absolutely looks mint. And then if Jen steps back here, we will see number three mood lighting, which is the bar area. So if you turn everything off except the bar, Adam, there you go. The bar is it's almost ready to take off, isn't it? Yeah. Right, so that's your mood lighting. So you've got your main lights, you've got your three sets of LED lights as well. Um, okay, so the bar, what we've done, we've finished it in grey. And the reason why we finished it in grey is because the customer is going to have an upholstered front. It'll be deep buttons like a Chesterfield sofa. So there'll be a panel on there, a panel on there. She's going to have these stools re-upholstered. Um, I'll explain that to you in a minute. And they will match the bar colour as well. Um, and what else is there, Adam? You got anything else? That's that one come to an end. Um, like I say, we've started it, start to finish. There's three of us finished the joinery on this, the main joinery on this. <laughs> okay, so that's another one. <laughs> She's pissed. That's another one come to a finish. All right, so that's another one come to an end. Um, six before, family room, home bar. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's pristine finish, um, like we always do. Not bad for a couple of handy men and a handy woman. And I'm also getting a lot of comments now about being known as a cowboy. So I like to meet my abusers head on. <laughs> if I'm a cowboy, then I'll be a cowboy. Okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Um, I will have chaps in the next one as well. I'm gonna make sure the cutouts on the cheeks of my ass so you can see them as well. So keep watching and hopefully I'll keep you entertained. So I'd like to offer a toast to the team Cheers. and to everybody at Ga Cheers. Upper Garden Rooms and to everybody out there who's watching and appreciates this content. Thank you. <sighs> really quickly, yeah? Right, so that's my loan come to an end. It's six by four, it's a family room. Um, we built a home bar in there as well. Um, as far as I'm concerned, it's an absolute spot on finish up to our normal standard. Um, not bad for a couple of handy men and a handy woman. Also, getting a lot of abuse now. Not abuse, but a lot of comments calling me a cowboy. So, I like to meet my abusers head on. If I'm a cowboy, then I'm a cowboy. In the next video, I'm gonna get myself a pair of chaps. I'm gonna have them cut out on the buttocks there so you can see them properly and nice, and maybe that'll appeal to a whole new fan set as well. So, with that in mind, I'd like to offer a toast to everybody at Upper Garden Rooms to the customers and to all you guys on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.